Hey guys, so today's review is uh, based off of another drink sent to me by Distance TV, Adrian. Um, it's a German drink, wasn't from anywhere, it was, but it was a, it's a special drink. It's known as Booster Juicy. This can has a very nifty look to it, almost kind of like, like a strawberry like explosion coming at you. Um, very, very flashy looking can, looks very neat. Um, over here, as it was described uh, by him, Grant, uh, Grant to Napil is German for pomegranate, and obviously cranberry is in English. So, pomegranate, cranberry. So, uh, the thing that will make this drink really stand out is the fact that it has German ingredients. So, it, um, it will taste different as opposed to something if it was here. Um, so, let's see. As you can see, it has Zucca for sugar. So, that's basically the German word for sugar. But their sugar is different than, than ours. It's a 330 milliliter, which is an, which is an odd amount for an energy drink. Over here we have some info about. Not sure what that says. Also, thank you very much for Unis Energy for translating my uh, last can for me, the uh, 28 Black or uh, Schwaz Dos 28. Thank you very much for that little translation. You are uh, welcome to go ahead and translate this one if you if you'd like. And I think that covers that. So uh, it's got a it's got a wide wide mouth tab similar to the Russian burn and a couple of the other ones. Small tab like a Red Bull tab, typical UK. Uh, no date. I guess it, that means six two thousand and thirteen would be the date. I guess. But, uh, so that's good. So, and, uh, over here, this is what I want to know. Uh, probably says, uh, taurine and caffeine. But I'm not too sure what mit means. But, I mean, it's all stuff. I mean, I can type in a, tra a Google Translator. It's no big deal. But, um, it's, it's just, a, it, it's, uh, it's fun to see if, um, anybody else knows The uh, translation from Google Translate is not as good as um, someone natively uh, translating it for me. So that's always appreciated. So uh, I think we're ready to crack it open now and smell it. Go from there. Mmm. Wow, that's powerful. So, surprisingly, this one is the one that smells a little like Mona V. Um, this one is kind of like a very strong, um, I wouldn't compare it at all to Rockstar Pomegranate or I'm mostly getting the Cranberry. But then again, the Pomegranate and Cranberry might be different over there and it kind of blends into what, what I smell as a, um, a very pungent, uh, very pungent smell that's um, probably more on the palm side, like the, the drink palm, uh, P-O-M, short for pomegranate. But we sell that here as a drink and it's strictly just pomegranate juice, maybe with some added sugar and stuff like that to give it that extra sweetness and stuff. So um, that is a really, really powerful smell. Actually, what this does smell like so take a second. Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure that's Mona V. I'm pretty sure that's what that smells like, which is really a surprise. This is not an acai berry drink. Um, I don't even know if it has acai in it. 
according to the ingredients. I am not seeing, I'm seeing uh, Granta Napefel, uh, on Cranberry uh, Safta Cazon, uh, threat. Um, very, very much nothing to do with anything with the Cyberry. So I don't know what Mona B had in it, but um, I know that it was it's an aside drink, but um, it might have had some extra stuff in it because it smells so familiar. Maybe it's Mona V. If it's not, then it's something else. Um, can't quite think of what it is, but I'm thinking that it's Mona B. And I'm just thinking it's something else. But nonetheless, it does smell actually what pomegranate and cranberry should smell like. Um, so that's what that smells. It's very strong, very pungent, very, uh, smells really, just really boom. And it's, it's really, um, it's very heavy. It's a very, uh, I can't think of a better, it's, it's a very, very fruity, very strong fruity. Um, it's not f happy fruity like Vegas Fuel or anything. It's a very dark fruit, a uh, very dark fruit smell. So let's check out the color. Alrighty, so it looks again um, like uh, Schwozdos or Burn. Um, so that's kind of funny. It's got the same color. Um, yeah, very very uh, crystal crystal red, very pretty color. So very nice, very very nice. Looks very delicious. Can't wait. So, here she goes. Hmm. Wow. It's a lot sweeter than, um, doesn't taste like Mona V. Just smells like it. Um, if it does taste like Mona V, then it's definitely a lot lighter. It's more like as if it's a Gatorade version. It's a watered down um, but very good, very tart, um, but a del in a delicious way, almost like a lollipop, uh, similar to, hmm, you could get a pomegranate flavored or cranberry flavored lollipop. Um, this does not taste anything like your typical cranberry that we have here. So you'll be happy to know, Adrian, that, uh, Monster Dub Edition doesn't taste like this. Um, it's a much different it's more like a monster cranberry, much, much stronger. This is a nice light flavor compared to anything that I will be sending to you. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the ironclad red one. Kind of reminds me a little bit of this, the goji berry. So it tastes very, very similar to this. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get that anymore. That is all but gone. The triple citrus I could still get. Um, as a side flavor, it might even taste like Wired Berry Rush, which is unique because I have not had anything like Wired Berry Rush ever. So the fact that it tastes similar is kind of funny. Uh, the thing with the Berry Rush though is the cantaloupe taste. This doesn't have that there. This is a nice sweet, sweet pomegranate, uh, a little bit on the, the sour side, a little zing. Um, and it's just a nice like kind of like a, it reminds me of a soda that we sell here. Um, tastes a little bit like uh, we sell 7-Up over here and they made a cherry version and I think a cranberry version and this tastes like the cranberry. Um, it's very very similar to 7-Up. It's got a very uh, it's like a soda pop kind of taste. Um, it's not very uh, strong. It's a strong taste but it's a watered down taste. The aftertaste kind of goes away and you get like a nice watery kind of like um, fruity, uh, juicy cranberry kind of taste. The pomegranate is there somewhere mixed in. Um, it adds for a very nice uh, sweet taste. Um, mm. And out of the can, yeah, the sugar I think is what really makes it a different flavor too. Um, the sugar in this drink is very similar to um, the other drinks that I've tasted uh, from, from Germany. 
Um, they have a very similar taste to them. They're a little more of a light, light flavor. They give it that little light uh, zing as opposed to what we Americans do to our drinks, which is pack them with a lot of sugar. Um, and the sugar that we put in it is much different. The zucker in this drink is only um, 10.4 grams. So it's a little less than what you would get. Um, so it's probably a total of about 20 grams no, because we, we can't do that by eight. This is 330 milliliters, which um, I'm actually not too sure what that is equivalent to um, over here in, with our drinks. Um, I guess it's it's per 100 milliliters, so I guess it would be, uh, that's for something else. That's 43 calories, 2%. So pro 100 milliliters, um, I don't know what that means, but... Uh, let that focus for you. There we go. 43 kick out, 2% pro 100 milliliters. So um, I don't know how to do the measurement for this can, but someone who can, um, it's pro probably means per, so per 100 is probably what this is referencing to. So never mind, there's probably about 30, probably 30 grams, almost 30 grams of sugar in here. but it's just a whole different kind of sugar, so I don't know. But nonetheless, very delicious. It's got a very sweet, sweet, very sweet taste, and it's very. Uh, it's kind of like a Gatorade or um, some other kind of cranberry soda with the soda that we sell here. Uh, very, it's very, very popular. It's very taste. Uh, tastes very familiar. Um, nonetheless, it's very delicious. And uh, it's got a nice, sweet, pleasant taste, and I definitely like this. Um, it's something that, um, yeah, I really, I'm really enjoying a lot of the German energy drinks. And I, I laugh when you guys are just like, ah, you're, we're so lucky to have what we have. And at the same time, it just feels like I can get these anywhere, anytime. So it just doesn't feel as a big deal. Whereas these just feel so much more special to me. And there are a whole different, that's why we trade, because otherwise we would never know the two worlds that we're both living in uh, when it comes to these energy drinks. And that's why I find interesting about energy drinks over soda pop and soda, because soda only has a limit. Like you have Coke, I have Coke. You have Pepsi, I have Pepsi. You don't have, I don't have Booster, you do. I have things like Slap, Excess, Wired, uh, all kinds of things, but you don't have it. So. It's kind of funny, but there's drinks that you have that I don't have. So it all works out and it all kind of, that's why trading is a beautiful thing. So um, very delicious drink. Uh, I give it a full 10 out of 10 because it's something from out of my my availability and just uh, it's very exciting to have it with me. It's part of my collection. It's um, this little mini collection I have going on is probably, even though it's the smallest, it's also the biggest to me because of the cans that I have in it. They're so valuable to me. And... Um, Really, really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, just thanks to Distance and Adrian. Um, but on the last side note, the flavor is delicious. It reminds me of something that I've had recently: um, pomegranate, pomegranate cranberry. Uh, but it's not Monster Dub, so you'll be excited to try a Monster Dub. Uh, it'll be much more uh, original to you than this. Um, so, but it definitely tastes familiar. Nice sweet, uh, nice sweet taste. Taste, um, possibly even Mona V, but with a little sour twist to it. So, um, yeah. So, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been a TPX reviews for Booster Juicy, uh, pomegranate cranberry, uh, delicious German drink, and uh, can't thank you enough. So, uh, I will see you guys soon. So I uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope I gave you the best idea I possibly could for this drink's flavor. But all I can really say, it's really good, really sweet. It's kind of a little bit watery, but it's very delicious. So thanks very much. See you guys later.